Good day. I'm Dr. Freslin Lim Sako, a nurse professor at Silliman University College of Nursing. And in this presentation, I will discuss with you on recur inspired phenomenological hermeneutic approach. So, the French philosopher Paul Ricoeur's hermeneutic phenomenological human science approach is useful in understanding and interpreting the, the meaning of human lived experiences. Recourse approach is appropriate in many qualitative study because of five reasons. And uh, one of this is the view that the narratives are the best approach to investigate the lived experiences of humans and also as a means to collect the research data. Secondly, is the theory of text interpretation as a framework for data analysis. Third, is the exploration of temporality relating time to the narratives. And so, this allows for the unfolding of existential features of the, the human experience. Fourth, is the interconnectedness of the self, other persons, and the concept of moral norm. And then fifth is the rejection of rigor of bracketing. He, he actually uses the concept of distanciation instead. So Paul Ricoeur asserts that phenomenology remains the indispensable presupposition of hermeneutics, which meant that the hermeneutic Hermeneutics is based on the fundamental aspects of phenomenology. And so, uh, Ricoeur also believed that phenomenology requires hermeneutics. And according to him, uh, hermeneutic has become a philosophy of interpretation and not just a methodology as it is associated with phenomenology by the principle of distanciation, that which is being objective to the text. So, what is distanciation? Well, a uh, recurse concept of distanciation means standing separate from or being objective in relation to the text. So, hermeneutic phenomenology through the principle of distanciation can be understood as a philosophy of text interpretation with the, the purpose of explicating so, to interpret is to explicate understanding of being in the world. And that is connected to Heidegger's hermeneutic circle of understanding through which um, the interpreter's inner world combines with the world of the text and also unfolds to a new understanding of of a world of possibilities and new meanings. And so distanciation um, uh, leads to the concept of appropriation. And additionally, Ricoeur actually rejected the idea of epoche or bracketing, but he somehow embraced the concept of distanciation. Uh, it has similar um, thoughts of uh, separating preconceived ideas or what Ricoeur calls pre-understanding, okay, separating it from um, what could be possibly understood from uh, what is being studied or investigated or the lived experience perhaps uh, and the meaning of these experiences. So for one, for the researcher to be objective, to, to really look into new meanings or new understandings, the researcher has to uh, separate the self 
or the pre preconceived ideas or the pre-understandings uh, one's own experiences from that of the experiences of the participants and this will help um, open up to the possibility of a new world of understanding a uh, new set of meanings perhaps so a while ago i was talking about distanciation leading to um, appropriation so what is appropriation uh, following the traditions of hermeneutics appropriation is to place a new interpretation of the text into one's understanding and so the process of interpretation actually culminates when reading uh, produces a discourse of the text in the present time and reading creates the space for appropriation to occur and this is uh, this happens through the process of interpretation at the moment so the result of this process provides the interpreter with a new perspective of things which allows him or her to view the world differently and um, record actually defined the term appropriation in the following way by appropriation i understand this that the interpretation of text culminates in the self-interpretation of a subject or the interpreter who thenceforth understands himself better understands himself differently or simply begins to understand himself so recourse approach as a methodology uses the concepts of distanciation and appropriation to allow the researcher to transcend beyond the understanding that only the research participants understanding is meaningful and correct so it it allows for the pre-understanding of the researcher to be part of the interpretation process now this is also to consider that to understand is not to project oneself into the text but rather to open up to an enlarged self and allowing the researcher to have a stance a stance of looking at the phenomenon with an open mind and also to incorporate into his or her world of understanding other possibilities as can be interpreted from the text So, uh, when conducting a qualitative study with phenomenological hermeneutic design, the narratives have multiple meanings and it is through the principles of distanciation and appropriation that the interpretation of the text by the interpreter or by the researcher is actually made faithfully by finding the most probable interpretation and uh, this most probable interpretation forms the meaning of the experience that is now co-authored by the researcher so next we go into uh, data analysis now the hermeneutic circle of um, in, a, in the high degree sense can be applied in the data interpretation uh, through the, the three stages of analysis described by RECOR and these are naive reading, structural analysis, and critical interpretation and throughout these three stages the hermeneutic circle or what RECOR calls the hermeneutic arc uh, can be used in analyzing the meaning of the phenomenon by reading and rereading the narratives so going back and forth the three stages of interpretation which i as i have mentioned are naive reading structural analysis and critical interpretation 
And so the narratives are read, interpreted, and understood by relating the parts of the text to the whole and then relating the whole to its parts. And this is basically how the data analysis is done using recourse um, approach. So the first stage of the data analysis um, inspired by the text interpretation or interpretation theory of RICOR is the naive reading. So in here, there should be an open-minded superficial reading that is applied in order to understand the meaning of the text as a whole. So the researcher um, needs to distanciate distanciate the self okay, from his or her pre-understandings in order to allow the ex explanation of the text or what the text says and also in order to allow the understanding or what the text is all about okay, in order for these processes to unfold. And the researcher needs to remind the self that the naive interpretation or the naive reading is aimed at gaining a fundamental understanding of the human lived experiences. So the second stage of data analysis is called structural analysis and a content analysis of each transcript can be done in this stage. So in the structural analysis stage, the text interpretation uh, identified and explained the main structure of the meaning of the phenomenon being studied. So elements of the narrative or constitutive units with meaning function or the structure of the narrative are identified. This is also the stage when uh, this is codified and categorized and so softwares can be used during this stage such as in vivo the structural analysis is a detailed thematization meaning unit by meaning unit to help identify patterns and also to help seek explanations and the text can be divided into meaning units that can be condensed into themes and sub themes So the third step of uh, data analysis is called critical interpretation and the third stage, this is the third stage which is aimed at obtaining a comprehensive understanding of the phenomenon under study. So included here is in-depth interpretation in which the interpretation in the naive reading stage will be correlated with the interpretation in the structural analysis stage and also the related literature, uh, the research question, and the pre-understandings are also integrated in this stage uh, together with the theoretical underpinning. So revealing the meaning of the experience with comprehensive understanding and appropriation actually completes the cycle of the text interpretation. So uh, that basically ends my discussion on recur inspired approach um, on phenomenological hermeneutics and the data analysis which include uh, naive reading, structural analysis, and critical interpretation. And these are the references used in this presentation. Thank you. And for any questions, you can email me at the email that you can see on your screen. Have a good day.